I'm a really big believer in that every single person we'll meet in this life will meet for a reason. And there's always an opportunity to learn, to grow, you know, to learn about ourselves, to learn about other people, and to learn about the world we live in and how it works for us. There's billions of people in this world. We're all unique. We've all got our own fingerprint. We've all got our own hopes and dreams and strengths and weaknesses, favourite food, favourite songs, favourite colours. And you know what? That's so beautiful. So a lot of people overlook that. It's so, so beautiful. And you know what else is beautiful? The fact that we're all works in progress. You know? You're never going to meet somebody that has learned everything and has done everything and knows it all. You know? We're always learning. Every single day we're learning and growing and, you know, getting better. And that's why I love life. You know what? Yeah. I've had a fucking horrific life in my, in my beginning, yeah. You know, locked up at 12 years old. You know, sexual abuse, scandals, homeless, rape, sexual assault, criminalised by the NHS Mental Health Crisis Service, everything. But you know what? Life's too short, man. You know, I attend the pain, the trauma that I went through into helping other people, and that makes me happy, so it's a win-win. Um, the main message of this video is to say that we're works in progress, and for the people that are really feeling guilty about stuff in the past, you know, they might be sat there thinking, oh, I did this, and I can't get over it, I'm so sorry, and all that. Look, you know, it's good that you're feeling guilty. That is a good thing, because it shows you that you've got heart, and it shows that you're growing, and it shows that you've realised now what you did was wrong, whatever that may be. I feel guilt. I feel guilt over what I've said to people. I feel guilt over what I've done. I feel guilt sometimes for not being the best I can be. But then I remind myself, I'm a human, you know? And we don't know it all. We don't have all the answers. You know, we act sometimes on impulse. We are animals. We have got instincts. And... You know, mistakes happen and sometimes people aren't nice, you know, and that's life. And I wouldn't say I've got regrets because I don't live like that. I don't ever wish I could turn back time. No. I look back and I think, you know what, I, I shouldn't have said that, but I would never say it again to anybody else. And that's that's the way I like, look, look at life because the way I see it, if I hadn't have learn that I would still be making the mistakes. This is an example. I met a beautiful woman when I was 19 years old. She was 17 and I definitely fell in love with that girl. We had brilliant memories. I've still got some videos saved on the my the backup internet cloud because she meant a lot to me. She was my first true love. And you know, I, I think I'll always love that girl. Um Looking back, now as someone who's nearly 27 years old, I can definitely see that I was, you know, really unhealthy. I was um, extremely controlling. I used to say, you know, give me your phone, I want to check your messages, you're cheating on me. Really unhealthy shit. And I wouldn't dream of being like that now. But then I was being the best I could be. You know, I didn't know how else I could act then. I was doing me and... People change. So it's okay if you've made mistakes. If you're going through a breakup or if you realise that you've said the wrong thing to your partner or, you know, your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever in the past and you think, you know what, she was good to me and I fucked it up or, you know, I cheated on her or I hit her or I did this or whatever. Look, you know, what you did was wrong and, you know, I'm not condoning violence, I'm not condoning swearing or... Bad stuff like that, but, you know, it's good that you've learned and use the opportunity to grow as a person. You know, I've learned a lot recently. I've learned that the way that I speak to people at times sometimes isn't the best and I sometimes take people for granted a bit and I might not look at things 
in the right way and I need to take maybe a little bit more consideration to how others feel instead of just myself but I'm definitely always working on that like I said we're works in progress even if you just get on a bus you know even if you just get on a bus and you meet a complete stranger this happened today when I was in York um, just speak for a random person for 20 minutes and I learnt a lot I mean this person um, he went to a computer game shop and I learnt a lot in this space of 20 minutes I learnt that he was um, unemployed he had an alcohol problem but he got over it and I, I said really well done for that and now he, he turned to computer games he started collecting computer games as a hobby and you know he came out of a relationship that he lost due to the alcohol abuse and he said he, he, he lives in regret but he's trying to not live in regret because he's he's been the best he can be now and that resonated with me um he said that to me and i, I thanked him i said thank you for telling me a complete stranger i lead your life and he, came, he said to me there's something about you that I, I think that i can trust and i thought well thank you yeah i don't know I'm wise, I guess, for 26. Um, but anyway, yes, back to the original sentiment of the video, which is don't live in regret. Don't live in fear and sadness about the stuff you've done in the past. You know, everyone has a love or everyone has a friend or everyone has a situation that they think, you know what, I wish I never did that. And that's good because it makes you you. If people didn't have regret and mistakes, there wouldn't be songs about women like Roxanne or Mandy or, you know, stuff like that, just plucking names out the top of my head. That's life. People make mistakes. And that's a good thing. So, yeah, um, without going over and over the same thing, I'm, I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, you know, like I said, you know, it's without pain, we're not human. It's okay. But please don't beat yourself up for the rest of your life. Recognise and move forward. And don't, you know. You know, every... Actually, no, I'm not finished. Quickly, I'll talk about intertextuality. Quickly, which is a Julia Christopher concept. Um, this I'm going to kind of apply this in this, com this framework of conversation that I'm having. Um, I'm not going to go <laughs> go into the fact that, you know, Julia Christopher was a linguist and uh, theorist and other stuff. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about, the language theory. Intertextuality means, in short, when something is always entwined with something else, such as, you know, when you read a book, your preconceptions of something else you've read is always looking at, you know, at the book. Like, you might have read another fairy tale, you'll read it and you think, oh, that reminds me of something else. Right. There's always intertextuality with other people. So, you know, when you meet a new person, there's always memories of someone else. And you'll never fully forget other people, but you have traits and characteristics. Like, you know, there was a person still on the train that reminded me of a, a woman that I've recently stopped speaking to. Very beautiful woman, but, you know, and she had a very similar laugh as well. I thought, oh, yeah, reminds me. But... You also learn, yeah, you're never going to escape the past. But you learn to deal with it and you learn to look at it in a different way. Yeah, sorry, I might have got a bit uh, complicated in the end. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for listening. I hope that this video has inspired you. Um, keep on going, never give up. Um, we're survivors, you're a survivor, I'm a survivor. People that are watching this video... You're going to be survivors. Um, if you like this video, press like, subscribe or whatever it is that's available. If you want to have some uh, coaching with me, I offer a free session to anybody. Um, so yeah, get in touch if you want that. If not, have a brilliant night. Don't beat yourself up over the past and keep smiling. Good night. It's been Michelle Therese. Never give up.